All right, guys, back out here again today. Um, it's a little chilly this morning, but we're going to get after it today with a bait the South forgot about, and that's the tube. So stick around. I'll show you how I'm rigging it later in the video.
All right, guys. Let me give you some tips about using these tubes. Um, I basically just used two rigs today, um, just a normal Texas rig, but I'll show you how I rigged that up. And then this one's just kind of something I'll drag on the bottom, kind of like a big shaky head or something. But what you got to do with this rig is, you know, the tube's hollow. Unless you can get a solid head tube, which are getting harder to find, what I do is I'll cut off a little tip of a Senko. You know, you only need like three quarters of an inch or so. And then what I'll do is I'll shove that in the tube. And I'll just push it up to the end. And this works with the screw lock, like a screw lock shaky head. Or this is a Fintech, and it's got just a little push thing in there. And uh, first you kind of want to like pre-drill it, is what I call it. But Then you just push it in there. And then you just Texas rig it just like normal. And that's it. And I use that just like I would a shaky head. And that's kind of what I was catching these little small mouths on. Now the Texas rig's got a little trick to it too. I'll take this one apart and show you. But today the water's pretty clear, so I was using a smaller tube, like three and a half inch tube. And the five sixteenth ounce weight. And you can fish that out to 15 feet deep, no problem. Because you want it to have that erratic action that a tube has. And, uh, you know, down here, not many people use the tube. So when there's a lot of people out there like there was today, it'll help you get a few more bites. So basically, just your normal Texas rig going about a quarter of an inch. And the hook I use is an Eagle Claw tube hook. And it's got a funny shape on it, like a kale shape. And that's just an awesome hook for the tubes. And on a, the three and a half inch tube like I'm using here, I use a two aught. And then, say on your normal four inch tube, you use a three or four aught. So then what I'll do with this is I'll add a Strike King tube rattle. And these are getting hard to find too. I don't even know if they make them anymore. I've been looking, but I haven't found them. And you just kind of shove that in there just a little bit. You kind of flatten it out with your fingers and you put the hook through the hole there. And that's it. And that rattles loud because the tube's so hollow, it kind of echoes in there. So those are the two setups I was using today and I hope those tips will help you catch some more fish. I'll see you next time.